Oh, not me. Like this, eating, and I look at this magnet on my fridge. <laughs> Y'all, this is about to be the quickest episode of Cooking with Cutthroat because it is too damn hot in this kitchen right now. Uh, so what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Cutthroat Gamer. I don't know why my dad wanted to make this video so badly. I haven't done a Cooking with Cutthroat in a minute but it is hot. There is a heat warning in Washington. Granted, talking to my mom, hearing the heat there in California, no comparison to here, like California, way hotter. I'm acclimated to Washington now. It's just hot, it's gross. The oven's not even on and I'm already starting to sweat. I don't know why I put on the gray tank top. I probably should have went with black so that when I start sweating, you guys don't see it, but whatever, we're already here. We are going to be doing a stuffed bell pepper. Usually I don't have the windows open when I'm doing a video. However, it's too damn hot. So the windows open, neighbors can hear me, I don't give a What I wanna do is get everything out really quick and we're just going to jump into it. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. I don't know why talking faster makes me feel like I'm gonna finish this video quicker and we are just going to be done. Before we even start slicing and dicing, I want to get the rice going. One grain of brown rice. We'll have chopped olives, corn, tomatoes or tomatoes. So yeah, that is what I'm gonna be putting in the stuffed bell pepper. Oh, and of course, the main ingredients. So we got cheese. I want some chicken and some steak. So I savited these yesterday. So they're already cooked thoroughly. Um, the savite does a really good job of that. I'm pretty sure I have a cooking with cutthroat where I show how the savite works, um, probably in one of my uh, beginning videos. But um, yeah, so I'll be dicing this up and putting it in the bell pepper. I'll probably just do a mix of everything. What I wanna do first is get everything chopped and portioned, which I'm so excited for because the chopping process, you don't hear anything. It's just music so I can have the fan going. Before we get slicing and dicing, that's what I want to do. So this is my Instapot. And so I use this to make rice, which it's super convenient. Oh, it is so hot. Comment down below how hot it is where you're at. They put out a heat warning, which I thought was like kind of over dramatic because it said it was only supposed to be like 85. It's like hot. I say like 90-ish. I just can't deal with it. It's too much for me. And my ass likes to go to the sauna. So it's like, okay, the sauna's hot and then it's hot outside, it's just too much. I can last maybe 10 minutes in the sauna now, when I usually can do a good 40, 50 minutes, so. Okay, so anyways, we're getting off topic. Let's say there's five cups. So one, two, three, four, four and a half cups. We will do four cups of water after I wash it. Now, usually it's with white rice that you wash your rice. All right, so we got our four cups. We're gonna go ahead and lock this on. And then we'll press rise. It will automatically start. So we're gonna go ahead and set that, forget it. And then we're gonna slice and dice. So I'm cut up the chicken, the steak, tomatoes, and then the tops of the bell peppers, and then gut them out. Before we start that, I do wanna like chit chat a little bit. And so do like maybe a little life update. I get my blow and go out literally in two days, which is so crazy. It was supposed to already be out of my car, but because of my car battery dying, it put me out of compliance. And so I had to wait another four months. It was really frustrating, very upsetting. I'm going to do a whole YouTube video dedicated to getting my DUI and like what it's obviously taught me and like how it really needed to, like, some things just, everything happens for a reason. I'm a firm believer in that and it was definitely needed. Um, I'm gonna go into depth into it in a different video, but okay, I'm getting hot again. So let's go ahead and get to chopping so I can get this fan back off. 
All right, so hopefully you guys can see everything. So first and foremost, we're gonna cut the tops off of these and gut them out. Okay, so all of them are cut and emptied out. So I'm gonna set these aside and then we are going to jump to tomatoes. So that is one tomato, I think that is going to be enough. Actually, let's do one more. So now we are going to move on to the chicken and steak. So the sous vide cooks it, the internal temperature, perfectly. Obviously, you just cut off these fatty pieces and give it to your dog. So everything is chopped that needs to be chopped. So um, I'm going to get you guys adjusted back to regular view. <laughs> All right, so we are back. I almost want to just microwave the corn because it's going into the oven anyway and it's just too hot to be playing these games. It's funny because I have to bake the uh, bell peppers and the oven, I have not preheated it or anything and I'm already starting to get dewy. What I'm gonna do, we're gonna get a big mixing bowl and then uh, I'm so annoyed how dewy I'm getting. Um, I'm gonna microwave the corn really quickly and then we will add everything to this. Oh, I'm starting to sweat. Luckily I have this covering so you can't see the sweat underneath but it's getting yucky. Uh, so annoying. Okay, so let's microwave this real quick. I'm not playing with the stove today, besides the only time I have to play with it, so. What other things can I update you guys on? Oh, Dance Dance Revolution. I love it. It is really hard to do, not because I'm, it, the game is hard, because I'm good at the game. It's really hard to do because it is so hot. Even with the fan blowing on me, I'm like in a full sweat. Honestly, after I finish this video, I am going to play a little bit. I skipped the gym today. I've been consistent. I've been back in my routine and I've been eating right. So it's been feeling really good. I didn't go to the gym today because I've been crushing it at the gym and I just wanted a day to like film and then also play DDR because it's been a minute. The only thing we're going to be missing is the rice, which it has six minutes left. So I'm going to let that rice finish, go sit in front of the fan and I'll be back. I might even change shirts because I don't want this to start looking messy. So I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. Of course I changed shirts. You know what's so funny? I feel like there'll be a day where I go back and I clip all the times I started a video in one shirt and then switch to another because I sweat through it. It's like a common theme on my channel. The rice is done. So what I wanna do is get everything put into this bowl. So last time you guys saw me because I was not, I was eating super healthy and then I fell off and then now I've been back on. I've been eating healthy for like little over, I'm gonna say a month-ish now. I'm like, it's back into routine or whatever. But when I first started my health journey, I refused to do any seasoning because of the diabetes. So, and then when I found out I was diabetic, 
The hospital thought I was type one because of going into diabetic ketoacidosis. Come to find out, I might be type two and I might have already turned it around because my cholesterol levels are so down and my A1C is at, like it's right under pre-diabetes. Kind of crazy, um, but let's go ahead and what we're gonna do first and foremost is, okay, so we're gonna mix everything in here, the chicken, Steak, corn, tomatoes. Oh my God, this looks so good. And then we will do, ew, wow. Uh, I didn't know it was chopped like this. It looks like it's cat food, ew. Okay, and then olive. We got everything mixed in here. The rice is perfect, which we love to see it. We'll just throw the rice on top. And then I'm gonna go ahead and season, do a dash of that. We're going to mix all of this up. I don't think I'm gonna add the rest of this cheese because I do wanna do like a dash of cheese on top. Oh my goodness, y'all, this smells so good. I'm so excited. I haven't had a stuffed bell pepper in so long. I used to make them all the time and I just haven't. I feel like Haley was the first one to like turn me on to stuffed bell peppers, but this was like way before I even remotely ate healthy. Yeah, I just did a twist to where it's like, everything's just like really like mindful kind of thing when it comes to the rice, the chicken, the steak, like all of it, it's just like being a little bit more mindful of it. This is the part I've been dreading as preheating this oven, but we do have to turn it on. I'm gonna go ahead and set it to, we'll go 275. We've gotta work fast because this is about to be a scorcher. All right. So we are going to go ahead and stuff these. So this is our mix. Oh my goodness, I haven't even tried. Usually I'll take a little bite. Oh, oh my goodness. It's perfect, oh my gosh. Top each one with cheese. And then we will throw these. I like to keep these to throw it back on. I like to keep these to throw back on. I know I just did not sweat in my goddamn bell pepper. Bro, you think I'm playing with this heat? Look at that. Let's put the oven on for five seconds. I'm already in a full sweat. Okay, so these are the bell peppers. We're going to throw them in. Hot. Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. Okay, and we'll be back in 10 and I'll show you the final result. While I'm waiting for the bell peppers to be done, I'm gonna go ahead and so good. Alexa, stop timer. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So I feel like we can definitely have it in. Maybe a little bit longer. I'll do like five, maybe five more minutes or so. Okay, so let's see how they turned out. I know that they are perfect. Oh my God, they smell so good. Oh my goodness, they look so good. I wanna try one on camera for you guys, so let me grab a plate. I am gonna grab a small one because I eat some of the stuffing, but, oh, oh my God! Look at how beautiful she is. Sorry, I got no makeup on, but oh my God, it came out so cute. So my thing, cause obviously you can like grab a fork and go ham, but one thing I like to do is just bite it like this. It's still hella hot, but let's go ahead and give it a try. Oh my goodness. 
oh my gosh, it's so bomb. Using the Sabine, it makes the chicken and steak perfect. All right, let me put this up so I can wrap up this video. Oh, not me, like this, eating. I look at this magnet on my fridge. <laughs> All right, let me put this down so we can wrap up this video. Okay, so we are, oh my goodness, that was a mission accomplished. I think my favorite thing about the stuffed bell peppers is that it's an easy snack. So like tomorrow, like when I'm go to work, I can just throw one of those in a little Tupperware box and then that's my lunch kind of thing. Super convenient. I also don't need a utensil because the bell pepper itself is the utensil. This mix of food was so good. I've been kind of like consistently just throwing a bunch of healthy stuff together and calling that a meal. So to throw it all together and then just stuff it in a bell pepper, 10 out of 10 recommend it. Thank you guys so much for watching this. It was a journey to get to this because it is too damn hot to be playing in the kitchen. It has been a minute since we've done a cooking with cutthroat. If you guys did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. And of course, stay cutthroat. All right, bye guys. Oh, I can't wait to eat. I'm so hungry. I'm about to f*** up this bell pepper. All right, bye. Theodore is just waiting for me to put some of that mix in his bowl. I might, I might, cause he's a handsome boy. I'm just